A sonnet in response to Clive Hicks Jenkins, Christ Writes in Dust, The Woman Taken in Adultery. They rule the roost in that bucolic town, these stocky bully boys who brook no doubt. If you don't stand up straight, they'll pull you down. She broke their rules, so now she is dragged out as beast to slaughter, halter-led and bound, her fate determined till he queers their pitch. He'll not stand with them, bends low to the ground, upends their rules, calls out the hypocrites. Stones fall from hands, they quietly slip away, but they'll be back to blight another day. In reflecting on this picture, I took the same starting point as the artist. Clive Hicks Jenkins began with sketches he'd made of the village of Montclair in Catalonia in 2010. This is a charming and picturesque village and indeed in the picture you can see sheep grazing on the hill below attractive architectural features. And yet Montclair had a dark side to it, relating to events 70 years before in the Spanish Civil War. Truth-telling, reconciliation and forgiveness had not taken root there and so it was a place not at ease with itself. I began by imagining that the three accusing men and the woman all lived in the village at the top of the hill. What would it be like for her and for others like her to live under the gaze of those men, a gaze which I couldn't help but think would probably be both censorious and lustful? I imagined that life in the village might superficially seem very idyllic, everything in its place and a place for everything just as they like it. But scrape the surface and you would find fear and anxiety, particularly affecting anyone whose lifestyle didn't conform to the norms these men approved of. It was only when I read the gospel passage in the light of the picture that I noticed that Jesus is noted as twice bending and twice straightening. It put me in mind of the way that bent has been used as a pejorative term to refer to members of the LGBT plus community, as opposed to being straight. It is not only voluptuous women caught in adultery that these men would drag out to stone, but anyone whose sexuality they disapprove of. The contemporary setting of this picture reminds us that the dynamics we see in the gospel passage exist in every age. We might feel we live in times more accepting of diversity, but research shows that even in Europe, harassment of and discrimination against LGBT plus people has been on the rise in recent years. Jesus is having none of it in this picture. He interrupts the dynamic and takes a position in which he identifies with the woman, mirroring her experience of and in the world.